age. <laughs> um, right, from Bellowhead to The Who, the band who sang about my generation became notorious for the damage they inflicted on their instruments on stage in some of the hotel rooms that they stayed in. Now, significantly older and wiser, The Who are going back on tour in the UK and Ireland to perform their classic work, Quadrophenia. And David Willis has been finding out more. It's nearly 50 years since The Who first got together. Coming hard on the heels of the Beatles and the Rolling Stones, they were not only the loudest rock and roll band, but arguably the most rebellious. Two of the original lineup have since died rock star deaths, but despite being nearly 70 years old, the other two are keen to keep rocking. You were the band that said, I don't want to die before I get old. I think that, that phrase was taken out of context anyway. You know, it's why well, we've never fought with that issue. But, you know, the song was more about, you know, refusing to grow old rather than I will, you know, I don't want to grow old. It was about refusing to grow old inside. You know, that's why I'm so proud of having the uh, physique and the, uh, the, <laughs> of a 16-year-old boy. Set in the days of rival modern rocker gangs, Quadrophenia is the story of a boy called Jimmy who saw himself as part of the band. After the album made it to number two in the UK charts, the story was turned into a film. You know, we're touring in America now. We're doing a lot of shows here. I wanted to play in, in my home country. I think Quadrophenia is a quintessential English piece, British piece. It's about, you know, life in, in post-war England, uh, about a young man who comes from our neighbourhood. And, and I wanted to be able to, because it's so great, I'm loving it. At the time of Quadrophenia, the band was renowned not only for its energy, but also, of course, for destroying their instruments on stage. Is it daunting, the thought of emulating your past on stage? You know, there's no way that I could do the kind of running around and leaps and bounds that I used to do as a young man. I was completely driven by the adrenaline and the power of the music. This was something that I couldn't do forever. So there are a couple of moments when I leap in the air, and unfortunately those are moments when I tend to get photographed. So you get these photographs of me like this. <laughs> a lot of the time, with a grimace as, as I leap in the air. That's when, oh, we're waiting for Pete to leap, and then they do this photo. <laughs> but we will still see the windmill move. I still do that, yeah. You know, the reason that I do it is not because it has any function anymore, <laughs> but whenever I do it, it's a cheap shot. I just go like that, and the crowd go mad. <laughs> so it's kind of like if it's getting a bit quiet, I just swing my arm. If Roger needs a bit of help, I swing my arm. <laughs> What is the relationship between the two of you now? Because uh, there was a lot of um, stuff in the past about that there was a tense relationship between you. Well, it still is, isn't it, Pete? <laughs> well, no, we're just waiting for each other to die. I think <laughs> we, we'd, we'd like to think there's still some uh, angst. You know, we, 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 we've had a few raised voices even lately, but I think, God, you know, I can't, I can't imagine being luckier, either of us, yeah. really, to get to this place in our lives when... You know, we are both pushing 70 and we've got this great music and this, you know, and we can gather, you know, the, the aura of a band around us, the, you know, the Who band, in a sense, whoever we take on the stage with us, we're so lucky. And we're lucky to be friends and allies in having roughly the same direction. The drunken rampages which earned them bans from all the major hotel chains are also a thing of the past. Life on the road these days is, by their own admission, a little more sedate. Do you ever feel the desire to, like, throw a television through a hotel window? No, just... no, my mum would have killed me. We don't argue with our TV sets anymore. Anyway, those bloody great big plasma screens, I couldn't get them off the wall if I wanted to. <laughs> they wait. <laughs> I don't know, they get you think they'd make them like them for old rock bands? Despite the fact that each of them could now qualify for a bus pass, the group that sang of dying before they got old hopes to still be rocking in their 70s. David Willis, BBC News, Los Angeles. Do you think they ever take the bus, though? Those two? No. Adrian Townsend, no. Well, I don't know. Pretty close to their roots. Mm. Tickets go on well, sale. The bus routes. Did it? No. Tickets go on sale this Friday. The Who tour begins in Dublin on June the eighth. Michelle.